The function for the height of an object dropped from a 100 meter tall platform at time t seconds is approximated by s of t equals negative 5 t squared plus 100. What is the height of the object after 2 seconds? After 4 seconds. Okay, so we have a function actually defined already, and that is this one. Okay, so this is the function that was given by the problem, and that's what we are going to use. So basically, this is a function of time. That means that the height of the object depends on time. So if time is one second, then there will be a specific height. If time is two seconds, then and so on. So if, let me just draw. So imagine um, this will be the platform. So just imagine that that is your platform. And an object is dropped from here. Okay. So just imagine an, an object is dropped from there. So this will be your trajectory. So after one second, the the object might be here. After two seconds, it might be here. And after three, it might already be on the ground. So so every time, there will be a different height. Okay. So this is what this function actually gives us. OK. So the question is, what is the height of the object after two seconds? So what you're going to do is, okay, let's, let's, let's write the function. So the function is s of t equals minus 5t squared plus 100. So in the first question, so the first question, t is equal to 2 seconds, right? So that's 2 seconds. So what we're going to do is we're just going to substitute 2 seconds for t, right? So that will be s of 2, right? s of 2 seconds is equal to negative, I'm just going to use, I'm, I'm going to color code this one. So that will be s of s of 2, right? So s of 2 seconds is equal to minus 5 times, and wherever t appears, you're going to put 2 in there, right? So a t appeared here. You're going to change that. Let's make that 2. And then you square that because you have a squared. Okay? So negative 5 times 2 squared plus 100. And then simplify. Okay? So minus 5 times, well, 2 squared is 4. So that's 5. Negative 5 times 4 plus 100. That is equal to, so negative 5 times 4 is minus 20 plus 100. And that is equal to 80. So 80 meters, if you will. Okay, so that will be s of two. So that will be s of two. Okay. Now for number two, for number two, okay, after four seconds. So t is equal to four seconds. That means wherever t appears, you're gonna change that. Let's make it s of four, right? So that will be s of 4, okay, s of 4 equals minus 5 times 4 squared plus 100. And that gives us minus 5. 4 squared is 16 plus 100. So that means minus 5 times 16 is minus 80 plus 100 and that gives us positive 20 so that would be s of 4 now this actually makes a lot of sense because you know after 2 seconds the height might be you know tall right but after 4 seconds because this object is falling so after 4 seconds the height gets smaller right so as time increases, the height decreases.